When I first began painting, I fell in love with watercolor for its transparency and the capacity to portray what, for me, were scenes frozen in time. Inspired by old black and white photographs, I painted scenes that existed only in people's memories. I painted nostalgia, longing, even melancholy. Although I don't own very many of these paintings anymore, each of them is still deeply rooted in my heart. They represent something about my early background in rural places. A friend once told me that in these paintings, everything is happening outside the frame. They are that still. This may have been true for me personally at the time of their creation. A lot was going on in my life and the images reveal little about those changes. I was in the process of leaving home. I was newly married. I was saying goodbye to a whole world, the world of my grandparents, the world of white frame houses in small towns, houses with squared pane windows that dictated lives and whole ways of thinking and seeing. The people here are anonymous, their faces hidden from view by hats, blurred by movement or turned away. They are paintings about looking back on a way of life that, for me, was shattering in the face of new influences I was being exposed to. It was as though early in my artistic career, I had to say something about my origins. The paintings were about where I come from, but they weren't about where I was headed. I was already aware of a wild, deep, and sometimes crazy world that existed outside these closely framed memories. That exposure eventually destroyed my ability to continue making pieces like this, and yet the paintings still move me deeply. Years later, I wrote this line in a poem. Our knowledge is like touching glass. That's how these paintings feel to me now, like touching glass. They're fragile. I feel I'm looking through a window that is just about to shatter. Still, there's this thought from another poem of mine. There is no return, yet everything comes back. It's just a matter of where and when the islands of inner space will surface, rising unbidden in dream or thought to bring us news of that other time. For me, these paintings are like receiving those gifts and reading some news from long ago. They remain part of my interior life.